All right, we are gonna look at now, we're gonna start working on graphing. So if I'm gonna graph a parabola, or U or upside down U, I need to know how low or how high it's going. So I'm gonna start by finding the vertex. So the vertex, I'm gonna think first of all, what way does this open? So there's a one in front, so it opens up. So I'm looking for the minimum. It's part of the quadratic formula. So it's the opposite of B over 2A. So I know A is 1 and B is negative 8. So I have the opposite of negative 8 over 2 times 1. So the opposite of negative 8 is 8 over 2 is 4. That's x. And then I'm going to substitute it back in and find y. So to find y, I'm going to say 4 squared minus 8 times 4 plus 12. So I get y equals negative 4. So this point down here is at 4, negative 4. Okay, let's take a look at a second um, quadratic equation. So I have negative 2x squared minus 10x plus 6. So this is going to be like I launch something in the air since a is negative. So to find the first coordinate in the vertex, I do the opposite of B over 2A. So I have A equals negative 10, or not negative 10, A equals negative 2, and B equals negative 10. And I'm going to substitute those in. So I have the opposite of negative 10 over 2 times negative 2. So I have 10 divided by negative 4, which is negative 2 and a half. And then I'm going to take that and substitute it in. When I substitute, I need to use parentheses. So I'm replacing all of my x's with negative 2 and a half. And then I'm going to type negative 2, parenthesis, negative 2.5 squared, minus 10, parenthesis, negative 2.5, plus 6. I end up with 18.5. So the coordinates of this peak up here are negative 2.5, comma, 18.5. Let's take a look at a fourth example. So let's say I have the quadratic x squared minus 8x. Now let's do minus 18x. So first thing I'm going to do is identify a and b. Think about which way it opens. So I know I'm looking for a minimum. So I have x equals the opposite of b over 2 times a. So the opposite of negative 18, so I have 18 over 2 or 9. So the x-coordinate of this vertex is 9. So I, once again, I'm finding the lowest point or the highest. So I'm finding the minimum, in this case, the vertex is also what it's called. And then I'm substituting this in. So I have 9 squared minus 18 times 9, and I'm going to use a calculator. So I have 9 squared minus 18, parenthesis 9, and I end up with negative 81. So my vertex is at 9, comma, negative 81. Final example, let's say I have x squared plus 16. And once again, I'm finding the vertex. This has a minimum. And I know A is 1, and B is actually 0. So remember, it's AX squared plus BX plus C, but we don't have a B, so B is 0. 
So I have x equals the opposite of b all over 2 times a, the opposite of 0, still 0. So I have 0 over 2, which is 0. And then I'm going to take that and put it back in. So I have 0 squared plus 16. So 0 squared plus 16 is 16. So my minimum is the point 0 comma 16. All right, thanks for watching.